Okay, so... I've been running this. I gave up on the battery charger. And... Ended up using a... Or an old... Computer power supply. Because it can put out about... 20, 20 some watts continuous at 12 volts and um, I actually think most of the crap that was in this tank was due to uh, just old fuel being in there uh, because I have a lot of residue now that's not really rust on there it's actually kind of it's probably not you're not able to see it on the camera, but it's actually kind of green. Um, and there's a old uh, snap-off knife blade. Um, so here's another piece that's kind of crusty and rusty. This is the latest one that I just took out now. And um, let's power this up and see if we can get anything on here. See if I can do this without shorting it out. So we can get it. You can see how it's bubbling. Oh, and I just shorted that. Oh well. Okay, so... And I'm almost out of memory here. So I'm going to switch over to the... Well, almost out of disk, I mean. So I'm going to switch over to the memory card and I'll be right back. Okay. So we're back. And we're powered up. And I just want to show how this is bubbling here, if you can see. And I think I just killed it again. I need to rewire this so it has a reset switch on it. Um, if anybody's interested, I can post a video on how to wire up a power supply to actually use it um, st as standalone from a computer. Um, but if there's no actual request, I'm not going to actually make a video on that. There we go. You can kind of see it fizzing, I think. But, okay, so, and then that's... So I'm going to dump this out. Hopefully this will be the last time. Um, as I said before, I've probably dumped it and sloshed it around and scraped at it a little bit for, oh, maybe three, four, five times. Probably more than that. I wasn't really counting. But I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got it cleaned out. I'm trying to get the sun in here at the right angle without being in a shadow to try and see this. Well, you can sort of see it. I'll probably be able to do it better with a flashlight inside but most of the rust is gone and all the other crap is gone 
so I'm going to take this and rinse it out and clean it off and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've rinsed it out and dried it and we can see with the flashlight in here. It's not perfect. And the flashlight just went out. I'm not having a good day with flashlights. But you can sort of see there. It's not perfect. But it's about seven thousand times better than what it was before. And this is what came out of the tank. And it's one container of it. This is the other container, and you can see all the sediment that went to the bottom. Um, I don't know how much of that is undissolved baking soda, but I can't believe there's that much undissolved baking soda. And here's the spot on the porch where it overflowed. Here's a, one of the... Um, anodes I was using, just pieces of scrap metal after I finally got um, sick and tired of uh, grinding down those screws, these screws here every couple minutes. Like these would only last about 15 minutes, if that, and then the um, Amperage would drop to almost nothing. I was just kind of messing around, and this is an old snap off knife blade. Here's a smaller piece of steel. And there's a few pieces here of big chunks of stuff that came off and I can't tell if that's rust or just sediment or what it is but it turns into fine powder so it smells like old two cycle gas but that's kind of expected there's the little rubber grommet I was using but yeah so this will be ready to install back on the Jacobson and um, then I can get that out, pull the carburetor apart, we'll have a video probably within the next week. We have it, Jacobson Manor 21 fuel tank. Um, ready to be reinstalled and thanks for watching comment subscribe and whatever <laughs>